She was old and neglected, so we cut her to bear holes and built her up from the ground with our blood, sweat and tears. So follow our journey as we plan to sail her to new destinations and make lasting memories. Last week on Sailing Lady Africa, we polished up our water tank lids and painted our anchor lockers. We finally decided it was time to put our dodger back in place. So I was looking for Ricky everywhere and then I come here to find him relaxing inside. Running away from the work. Then run away from the work. How do you like your shelf there? It's good. Where the water maker pump's gonna come. Looks good. I'm just busy doing, this is me planning. I'm gonna run the pressure vessel on that side. The pump over here. Then I'm gonna do some lighting underneath here. And I'm gonna put a switch underneath there. So as you open up, you can switch on the light. What I'm doing is just making a bracket for the water maker. Let me show you where that's gonna go. There's obviously our, our bazooka. And I'm gonna install it over there. See that area that I've prepped? So I want it to go onto there. If I paint everything out and I'm thinking of going thinking of going white on the back underneath the bunk just for you can see it easily so white flow paint. I'm cutting it out of this section of fiberglass nitrocore that I that I had, some left over, there's also some extra that I had. And this is a 20mm. It's a little bit thinner profile but more than strong enough for that. So there's the section we've cut and now we've made little braces, some triangular braces. Now we flip over and that will be glassed into the boat but we'll do the initial glassing now and then we'll do the second glassing once we're going to put it into the boat. It was a beautiful day outside so we worked outside and soaked up the sun. Taking that blue off, honey. Happy days. It's such a nice day out today, so we decided let's work outside and Check do it. all the little things outside. See. It's gonna be good, man. Moses, where's the beer? Look how it is. <laughs> So just out of an old piece of fiberglass that we find lying around, so it's relatively thick, about 10 mil thick, I'm going to use it as a backing plate now. So I'll drill the four holes, that'll be our new backing plate, no more, there was wood on this one, actually as a frontal plate, not as a backing plate, so the stainless steel bracket will now mount onto this, this will mount onto the boat and then we'll have another glass backing plate and, a, and then fiberglass washers with the lock nuts. Everything composite, less maintenance, and I'm happy with that. So that's where our David mount, and the old one was a piece of wood that was all stuffed up. So this one will get, we'll still gotta put a layer of flow coat over it and do the edges nicely. But the idea would be, so that would go over that, and then we'll drill all the new holes. And that also distributes the load a little bit wider. Man. It's a nice day today, and we got our bimini making it all nice. So, Ricky's fiberglassing in our water maker shelf. In there she's in and once she's dry so I did um, on all the joints and on the bottom side either brace there's two brace three braces on it that's how the bottom side looks so the bottom side and the edges have all been ultra bonded in and then on top of the ultra bond I did layers of glass with some pure ply on the top 
We'll fill that off once it's dry and then we'll do all the finishing work rounding the edges and whatnot. As you can see someone left the fans on here. Those darn fans almost blew me away. So this is how it looks here in our aft cabins. And it is our beds. Ricky and Moses are gonna be giving it a good paint. And we'll show you how it looks afterwards. So I am busy vacuuming up all our dust because this boat is very dusty. And there's a trusty vacuum. And then I will be wiping it down with acetone and then I'll be painting. Our storage locker was nice and painted. So what I'm doing now is just preparing the floor to take the, the, the floor vinyl. I'm gonna apply epoxy and measuring out the peel ply so we can put peel ply on top of the epoxy. So when I pull it off, the wax layer also goes off. Peel ply gives a smooth surface, but it does leave a little bit of a little, if you feel it's like not perfectly, it's not like a gloss finish. And um, what that will help is, it firstly it will seal the wood from the top, and then secondly, it will allow me to use my contact adhesive, uh, the marine contact adhesive, to apply the, the flooring onto the epoxy as opposed to contact adhesive on wood which doesn't work. So cutting out all the sections, marking it up and then we'll start from one room all the way down and do all the floors will be covered in a layer of epoxy and we'll leave the peel ply right until we finish painting until the end where we're gonna just do pretty much the floors. That's the entrance. We're going to lay a layer of glass over that wood that's there. So underneath that section there, from there to there's wood. We're going to put glass over there so it can give it a bit more protection for the wood. And then we'll epoxy a layer over everything for our adhesion layer. Once the fiberglass had been sized and cut, the floors got sanded down. As you can see, we've sanded and opened up all the bulge covers. And that's ready now for us to give it a wipe down with acetone. And then we'll start epoxying all the floors sealed and putting peel ply over that. Hello, Mouse! Hello. So we got our bimini up. We just have to fit her still, um, do the fittings and whatnot. So she's not properly in yet, but she's in. It's gonna be nice. And then we'll have the canvas closing there to hide us from the wind. And it's a cold night. So the floor's epoxy. The floor's lava. <laughs> I'm stuck this side. I don't know how I'm gonna get out. Oh, this one's good. Step there onto there. So I've been painting inside the nooks and crannies because Moses and Ricky cannot do a good job with that. I think it's a woman's touch. I don't know, but that's why I'm here. It's Chuck, full of man, I painted paint. well. Like on the that. outside. On the outside, you're doing great. You're just not good at painting inside. Nobody sees. As you can see, like, look how white that room is. It's because I painted it. <laughs> So that's why I have these lovely lines from the mask that I've been wearing all day. And um, Ricky's epoxied our floors. So we're stuck. But we'll manage to get out and lock the boat before we leave. So yeah, we're doing the final stages. So you guys gonna... see this boat? It's new! So we're doing I'm so excited! Ba 
So it's the final stages. She's looking good. We're working our butts off. Check it out. Just finished this underneath here for the lights. So there's it done. Take our LEDs underneath there. Gotta be so excited. Yeah, look good. So here's the engine bay. After we've removed all the covers, the exhaust's out already. And uh, so we're just getting uh, everything removed. But obviously here's where the new floor is. We're going to grind all of that out, clean everything nicely, give, make it look brand new inside there. And the engine's going to go away to be dyno tested and check that everything's perfect on it. They'll also do a new, well they'll calibrate the, they'll do a service on the injectors and the diesel pump. Replace those top corroded steel hoses. And there's the heat exchanger for those of you that don't know. And so yeah, that's what we gotta do. Get it out. Hopefully next week get a crane in, take it out. It was about time that we made the frame for the new hatch we bought in our previous episode. Moses, wait am on your new beanie. Sir, you don't need me to crush my head, no, that's me. And we worked on our saloon table. This is a nitro core sheet which is going to turn into our table and so I've obviously already cut it to the size that it's going to go there. With nitro core one of the downsides of it is that you have to scrape out the, the coring material which we've already done and we've backfilled it with um, thickened resin. So what I'm doing now is I'm putting the straight edge up against it like that, screwing it down and then I'm using the router to route it down to get a, a straight, perfectly straight edge. When we're done, after routing it, that's what the edge looks like. There are other ways of doing it. I just, I suppose I feel maybe this is the quickest. I don't know. What's the sleep in here? Test, test the dimensions there. So that's what the table looks like when it drops down. And that's how much space we've got there. It is so nice, I'm gonna sleep. Hopefully next week I can order the leg that goes in the bottom. We're trying to get a hydraulic one so it can just be pushed down. And just to get it smooth and rounded, me and Moses are sanding the edges and the straight that we routed. And then we'll put a, a layer of full mica on. And we're thinking of maybe just painting the rest of it just white. Stay tuned till next week where we start planning our electrical and run some conduits. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe below if you haven't already and don't forget to give us a big thumbs up because it helps us out a lot. Thanks to our awesome new patrons, Basil and Kim Paul and Ricardo Vaschetti. Your support means a lot to us. If you'd like to join our amazing patron family and get behind the scenes footage of what we're up to, a link is provided in the description below.